When the South Side Settlement House was raised in 2012, the community not only lost a 112-year-old institution, but an iconic piece of art. Back in the early 80s, when this building was on the drawing boards, a local artist was asked to create something that would reflect the neighborhood's steel mills and glass factories. And being young and not knowing better, I said yes. Uh, the building had been originally uh, conceived as having a ceremonial staircase. And it was a place that uh, was sort of the heart of the uh, settlement house. Tsunami has received many commissions for public art. On Livingston Avenue, his sculpture commemorates the city's streetcars. At the Worthington Community Center, a sculpture celebrates the human spirit. His planters grace all four corners of the State House in Columbus. Tsunami's work is accessible, sometimes tells a story, and, like the staircase, is often functional. You would have young kids on it. Uh, you have older people who could just sit there, and it was the scene for uh, weddings and such. Many of the programs at the South Side Settlement House will continue in a new community center in the renovated Reeb Elementary School. But the fate of the staircase remains in limbo. Fortunately, uh, when the settlement was being torn down, uh, it was uh, saved by the city and is in storage until they can figure out someplace else to put it. Now Tsunami's work can once again be seen on the south side. He was commissioned to create a sculpture for the new Maloney Health Center on Parsons. I wanted to have something uh, that was bright, friendly, and then uh, something that would reflect the history of the south side. So the back panel has uh, scenes of the south side. And uh, then you have the, the people who uh, uh, would be there with the glass and steel. Many artists are driven to create something that is entirely their own, an expression of their own vision or imagination. But it's different with many of Tsunami's projects. For public art, I think uh, you have to consider um, its function, where it is, why people want it there, and how it's going to interact with the community. Tsunami's made a living as a designer creating signs, graphics, and installations. As an artist, his canvas is especially broad. I do photography, I do prints, I do painting, I do sculpture, I do ceramics, I started as a jeweler. Uh, part of it, I think I like the variety of uh, technology and craftsmanship. The new technology will come and always be seen as a threat for some, but then others will embrace it. John Tsunami grew up in New York City. His father was one of the first photographers to document modern dance, and he was the staff photographer at the Museum of Modern Art. So John Tsunami grew up in an environment where art was important and essential. I've always believed that uh, part of being an artist involves uh, a responsibility to craft and that uh, you have to uh, make something that is, is pleasing and works uh, the way it should. Columbus has been Tsunami's home for more than 40 years. His involvement at settlement houses goes beyond his artwork. He's served on their boards because he appreciates how they build community in his adopted home. Well, Columbus is a wonderful place uh, because it is very accepting and uh, it, it encourages diversity. And at this time, I think Columbus is really on the cusp of becoming a very vibrant art city. Uh, there are always things happening. Uh, there's the downtown, which is becoming more and more a place to be, and more galleries, uh, more exhibitions. 